Hi, my name is Heidi Wallace. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am the executive director for Empower Montana. Empower Montana is a nonprofit based in Missoula, but we do serve the entire state of Montana. Our mission is to create a just and inclusive society. And we do that by empowering individual leadership to correct systemic inequities, to strengthen communities, and to end mistreatments. We have three areas of work. Uh, business and organizations is one, uh, supporting communities is the other, and I think one of our most vibrant and inspiring areas of work is our youth work. So I can't wait for you to learn more about one of our newest programs. And before we get into it, I want to thank all of you connected to the Women's Giving Circle. I am just so grateful for your leadership and generosity in supporting Missoula nonprofits and the incredible work that's happening within our community. So. Hello, my name is Kelsey Severson. I use she, her, hers pronouns, and I am the Associate Director of Growth and Development at Empower Montana. Empower Montana is asking the Missoula Women's Giving Circle for $5,000 to support our BIPOC, which is Black Indigenous People of Color Youth Group. This group was created and is currently led by young BIPOC leaders who were passionate about creating a space where Missoula's BIPOC youth could come together and share experiences with their peers, connect with one another, and ultimately create racial justice and social change in Missoula. All $5,000 will go towards supporting staffing, specifically supporting the staff time of our youth programs specialist devoted to BIPOC youth programs. Her name is Sierra Pinnell. Hi, I'm Sierra Pinnell. I use she, her, hers pronouns. And um, I'm a youth program specialist at Empower Montana. I got involved with the Power Montana when I was a senior in college. Um, I did my practicum there as well as did a racial justice internship, um, which was really awesome. One of my kind of goals was to help create this BIPOC youth group. Um, and I was able to get that kind of off the ground and now facilitate it. Um, I think that this group really impacts the organization and the community and that it's really building leadership within our BIPOC youth in Missoula and in Montana. Um, I think we have a, really, a lot of strong BIPOC youth who have a lot of leadership skills, but with Montana being a really large state, we can always connect. I think it'll foster that identity development and leadership skills so that um, we all just feel supported within the state. Hi, I'm Lizzie Milzo and I go by she, her, hers pronouns. I got connected to Empire Montana when I went to their summer camp two summers ago and then I joined YAC that year. I get hope in my leadership from seeing my peers working with me and also just knowing that I have the ability to help others. I am excited for YAC and Empower Montana to reach more kids like me because they've really helped me and I want to share that with other people. Hi, my name is Sylvie Tower. I use the pronouns she, her, hers. I connected with Empower Montana through their youth program, EPIC, Empowering People, Inspiring Change in the sixth grade. I was and continue to often find myself in predominantly white spaces, and I wanted to develop skills to help other people and myself. I find hope in my leadership that I am supporting and being kind to others when I, when I stand up. And I'm excited for Empower Montana to have new voices and people to work with. I'm excited that YAC will always have new generations of youth to help empower and build safe spaces for others. I'm Brandon and I use he, him, his pronouns. I joined uh, the Youth Advisory Council because I wanted to help create change and educate the community. And I think that YAC is a great way to do that. Uh, 
I have hope in my leadership because I know that it is just beginning and that I have so much more to learn and to do within the community. Um, I'm excited for Empower Montana because I think that it can have a great impact on the statewide and local level and I, and I am excited to see how that impact occurs throughout generations. This project will ensure the support of BIPOC youth leadership across Montana by empowering youth leaders with the language, tools, and skills to create opportunities for personal action, social participation, and confidence to mobilize within their schools and communities. Empower Montana believes that positive change begins with our youth, and we know that social emotional learning support is essential for young people to thrive in their leadership. Social emotional learning promotes social, emotional, and academic competence through the intentional development of skills, attitudes, and behaviors that young people need to thrive. Understanding the components of social and emotional learning allows us to coordinate family, school, community programming to best support youth well being. We measure social and emotional learning success by measuring six outcomes positive identity self-management, contribution, social capital, academic self-efficacy, and social skills. Empower Montana is also working to measure critical consciousness in our youth leaders. Critical consciousness describes how oppressed or marginalized people learn to critically analyze their social conditions and act to change them. Therefore, we are creating opportunities for leadership, connection, and confidence so that all of Montana's young people can authentically and unapologetically be themselves. As far as the timeline goes for this project, Sierra and our youth leaders have been planning and organizing this project for over a year. In September and October, we conducted our first focus groups and learned a lot from our BIPOC youth and our BIPOC community members. We've also already held our first meetings virtually uh, this November, and we're excited to continue this project into the future. Ultimately, we hope that we can bring this program across the state of Montana. We know that there are BIPOC youth that are isolated across our state and the ability to bring a space to them where they can collectively organize is just as important as starting this group in Missoula. <laughs>